Good evening everyone, my name is Hung Trung. I'd also like to acknowledge that we meet on the land of the Wurundjeri people and pay my respects to their elders past and present and we stand in solidarity with them in their fight for sovereignty and justice. Uh, I am one of your uh, upper house members in the Victorian Parliament. Uh, the area covers six municipalities, so six local government areas, including this one. Um, could I please ask who lives in Melton? Raise your hands. Oh, nice one. Go Melton. Uh, keep your hand up if you know who your state MP is. Right, okay. Um, that's an issue, isn't it? Uh, what I've found in the six months that I've been an MP is people are feeling more and more disengaged with politics. Uh, and how we would like to change that as the Greens is to have local people run and to have um, opportunities for people like yourself to feel like the decisions that are made at Spring Street are relevant to you and that your needs are being heard and looked after. What we know is that in Melton, let me give you some stats, um, the median household income is $1,500. That's just shy of $80,000 a household, the average. So that's you know, half of Melton's households have less than $80,000 a year and half of them have more. We know that 41.9% of households have two vehicles. So you have two in the garage, which means you're paying twice the rego, $816. You're paying twice the insurance, twice the um, cost of uh, keeping your car running and servicing it and that sort of stuff. Um, and then you've got another 21% who have an extra car, so at least three cars. The situation is untenable. What we call that is transport poverty. What the Greens would like to see across our transport system, across our health system, across the services that are needed in areas that are growing incredibly rapidly, as you know, the Melton CEO and um, our Mayor Bob Turner has, has um, briefed us on, uh, is that we need the um, infrastructure to come when it's needed and to be planned so that it's equitable across um, where the needs are across Victoria rather than wherever the marginal seats are. So I'm here to um, speak to you and represent the Greens um, and the option that we represent uh, in the upcoming state election uh, and the work that we'll be able to do, uh, particularly if we get balance of power in both the upper house and the lower house, which essentially means whichever party is in government will need to negotiate with us. Um, I have a background in local government. I've worked in, uh, in and around this area for the past 10 years. So please feel free to ask me about um, environmental sustainable design, about waste management. I've spent 10 years at Brimac City Council dealing with waste management and how we fix that issue. Uh, I also have a background in multicultural issues um, and I uh, have a, a degree in environment and planning um, as well as um, social services and social work. So uh, please feel free to ask questions uh, across that breadth. I can't wait to hear what it is that you're worried about and how important you feel the coming state election is for the issues that are affecting Melton and the Outer West. Thank you.